there is not enough concealer in the world to hide these blemishes. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 5 celebrity beauty brands that experienced controversy. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at celebrity beauty brands that tend to attract drama. The issues may be over the product themselves, or the stars behind the brands. Number 5. Kat Von D Beauty Regularly one of Sephora's best-selling lines, Kat Von D Beauty offers a wide array of highly regarded products, and many of which are free from animal-derived ingredients. Even if the makeup's quality is beyond reproach, Kat Von D's naming practices have repeatedly garnered criticism, specifically her underage red lipstick and the Celebutard shade. Kat Von D's decision to advertise her basket case eyeliner by evoking imagery of Sid Vicious and Nancy Spungens proved to be problematic as well. I had the idea of doing a photo shoot with Billy Joe where we kind of like pay homage to this old poster that I used to have as a kid. During a 2017 contest, reports arose that Kat Von D disqualified a makeup artist because she was a Trump supporter, although the celebrity later confirmed that the decision was mutual. Number 4. The Honest Company Nowadays, honesty can be pretty hard to find. Founded by Jessica Alba after the birth of the actress's first child, The Honest Company strives to offer beauty and baby products derived from chemical-free and natural ingredients. We both wanted um, one brand that we could trust that uses um, transparency really at the core. Over the years, customers have hit Alba's brand with multiple lawsuits regularly stating false advertisement as a justification. One of the lawsuits claims that our company's sunscreen didn't work and photographs of bad sunburns are included in the documents. In 2017, the company was criticized for including sodium lauryl sulfate in their cleaning products, despite advertising to the contrary. While Honest stated the sodium cocoa sulfate was used instead, Alba's company agreed to settle the class action lawsuit by paying $1.55 million. Repeated lawsuits and claims of deceptive advertising and marketing practices has the potential of doing great damage to the brand, to its revenue, and its expansion. Number 3. Jeffree Star Cosmetics When someone's name is on the tin, any personal controversy will automatically be associated with their products. Whether beefing with Kat Von D, Kim Kardashian, or Kylie Jenner, the musician and fashion designer always appears to be in the middle of a Twitter feud. Jeffree Star garnered a ton of negative publicity after an old video surfaced containing racist comments, prompting the makeup artist to apologize profusely. I owe you the truth, and I owe you an apology. I am so sorry for my words. I am so sorry for everything that I've said in my past. So how about the actual products? Star's cosmetics are generally well-received, although there was a strange incident involving two customers who found hair embedded in one of the brand's highlighters. Number 2. KKW Beauty This star has always been a controversial figure, and Kim Kardashian's first beauty line has not failed to conjure up drama. Right out of the gate, many criticize the beyond-famous celebrity for seemingly using blackface in a photo shoot advertising the new line. Addressed during an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Kim stated the internet world is way too toxic, and the darker skin tone was a result of the applied contour. I mean, I get it. I was super tan. The lighting is really moody, really so dark. I can get yeah. why people would say that. I just don't want to give anyone a reason to say something negative. From one extreme to the other, KKW Beauty grabbed headlines due to a line of concealers that offered limited variety and seemed to favor lighter skin tones. There's four concealers, fair, light, medium, medium and deep. deep. Where's deep dark? Number 1. Kylie Cosmetics Where to even begin? Ever since it launched in the mid-2010s, Kylie Jenner's cosmetic company has been seemingly unable to avoid controversy. Kylie's lip gloss received a very harsh review from Jeffree Star, who suggested the brand needs better quality control, while a variety of customers took to social media to express disappointment with their purchases. I did throw them away and I was really offended that the wands were so bad because I had high expectations from Kylie. Even when doing good, Kylie Cosmetics cannot help but flub the delivery, like advertising the brand's partnership with the charity Smile Train by comparing children with cleft lips to Halloween monsters. Selling blushes with names like Virginity and Barely Legal, Kylie's name choices have also been called into question. Seriously, Kylie Jenner, choose better names for your products. Disgusted, tweeted another. 
Kylie named a blush barely legal. I'm gagging. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.